Hello guys, my name is Sanjeev Reddy and welcome back to Statistical Academy. I am a senior statistical programmer and in this channel I make videos on programming, career guidance, clinical research, drug development, regulatory guidance, LinkedIn profile building, interview guidance, resume building, R programming, Excel and many more. In this video, we are going to be talking about creating and using macro variables. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment with your thoughts on the topic. Let's learn together. The links for the program and the example datasets I use in this video are in the description below. Suppose you have a program with multiple procedures and you want to filter each procedure to select only observations where the type of car is a hybrid. You run the program, look at the results and then you decide that you want to see similar reports where the type of car is an SUV. Of course, finding and replacing the word is an option for modifying the program, but it would be nice to change that repeating value in one place, right? You can do this with a special variable called a macro variable that stores a text string. The SAS macro language is designed to help you to make your programs reusable and dynamic. First, we will just touch on a few helpful elements of the macro language. The first step is to create the macro variable. All statements in the macro language begin with a percent sign and the percent let statement creates a macro variable. After the percent let, you specify the name of macro variable an equal sign and then the string you wanted to store. Notice that you do not enclose the string in quotation marks. The percent let statement ends with a semicolon. In this example, we are creating a macro variable named car type and storing the text hybrid. Now we have created the macro variable. The next step is to use it in the program. In each place where we previously hard coded the value hybrid, we can specify the macro variable car type that stores the value. When you reference a macro variable in your code, you precede the name with an ampersand. The ampersand triggers the SAS to look up the text string stored in the car type macro variable and replace it with a hybrid before it executes the code. Now if I wanted to run these procedures and change the value of the filter, I only have to change the value in the percent let statement. Like libraries, macro variables are temporary. So when you exit SAS, they are deleted. If you have macro variable references in your program, you must create the macro variable at the very beginning of your program before you reference it. In this program, we will modify to take advantage of macro variables to make the program more flexible and dynamic. This program includes two steps, PROC PRINT and PROC MEANS. And you will notice we have the same WHERE statement in both steps. And there are three different expressions within the WHERE statement. Filtering based on age, treatment and start date. What if we would like to change those values in order to look at different segments of our data? Because we have patients with different ages between 20 to 90 and three different treatments, drug A, B and placebo. Well, let us start by just running this program to make sure there are no syntax errors and examine the results. Looks good. Based on the current where expression, we have observations with age less than 30, treatment is drug A, and start date is on or after August 10th, 2020. Let's take a quick look at the log, and we see the filter criteria returned 13 observations for both procedures. What if we would like to more easily modify the values included in the where statement? Back in the program, I am going to add percent let statements to create macro variables to store the text that would be used in the where statement. I will start with percent let and create a macro variable named age group and I will store the text 30. My next macro variable will be 
drug name and we will store the text capital drug A. Remember, I don't need to code the text string. And my last macro variable will be treatment start date. And I'll store the text string 10th August 2020. Once those macro variables are created, now I can replace the hard coded values in my where statement. I will replace 30 with the ampersand age group, drug A with ampersand drug name. And instead of start date, ampersand treatment start date. Now remember, when we do reference macro variables in the quotation marks, we must use double quotation marks. I will take the same where statement, copy it and replace it in the proc means. Now I will run the program to verify that we get the same 13 observations. The output certainly looks similar and if I check the log, we see once again 13 observations were returned. That works great. Now back in the program, we can take advantage of our macro variables in order to look at different segments. I will change the age group to 50, the drug name to drug B and let's change the date to 10th November 2020. Even though these values are used in multiple where statements, I don't have to make any further changes. I run this program. I will take a look at the log first and we can see the where statement includes the values that we provided in our percent let statements. And I can certainly confirm those values in my results. Treatment drug B. Our start date is on or after 10th November 2020. Age group less than 50. Looks great. Macro variables provide such an efficient way to make your programs dynamic and easy to modify. If you have any questions or doubts, please leave them in the comments below or reach out to me through the mail id mentioned in the about section of this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.